Good evening. The mother of Becky Godden Edwards, the woman from Swindon whose remains were found in a field in Gloucestershire, has spoken about the loss of her beautiful and intelligent girl. Karen Edwards braved the cameras just a week after being told that her daughter was dead. She last saw her in 2002. In what was an emotional and tearful news conference, she described how she bought birthday and Christmas presents every year since her daughter went missing, always hopeful that one day she'd be able to give them to her. Our Wiltshire reporter Robert Murphy is in Swindon for us this evening. Robert. Yes, Karen Edwards spoke publicly, passionately and powerfully. She was particularly emotional about the, when she described the moment when police knocked at her door and told her that her daughter was indeed the murder victim, the body found in that Gloucestershire field by police investigating the disappearance and murder of Sean O'Callaghan. For all these years, she believed her daughter was missing, not murdered. This is what she had to say. Becky was a very beautiful, intelligent girl. She was my daughter. She was loved by all her family. Becky gave me so much joy and love as a child. However, as a teenager, she got involved with people who introduced her to drugs. She left school and her life spiralled. During her teenage years, we did everything we could to help her overcome her drug addiction. We sought help from drug charities, doctors. Life was very tough for us all. We, we witnessed many, many awful things that we would not wish on any parent. She told me one day, she loved me so much. <laughs> she couldn't keep putting me through this hell. <laughs> and she was leaving. <laughs> and wouldn't come back to me until she was clean. <sighs> I never saw her again. <laughs> I was told by sources close to the family time and time again. <laughs> They'd seen Becky during these missing years. So I had a strong belief, and I really did believe. That one day she would come back home. I've continued to buy her birthday cards and Christmas presents and cards. So when she come back home, she knew that I'd been thinking of her. My daughter's been murdered. And to be given that news, oh, what would have been her 29th birthday, the 4th of April, we just can't believe it. And after everything she's been through in her troubled life, she didn't deserve that. Karen Edwards speaking about the loss of her daughter, Becky. Uh, Robert Murphy, back to you. Becky's friends have also been paying tribute to her. That's right. Uh, this afternoon in this park in Swindon, some of them gathered and they released uh, balloons into the air uh, as part of a tribute to her in memory of Becky. Before they did this, I spoke to a couple of them and this is what they had to say. I grew up with Becky. She lived with me and my dad for a couple of years and she's a really nice person. She loved everyone and she deserves better than to be led in a field for eight years with no one knowing. So she does I want to give deserve. her the best send off she could possibly have. Meanwhile, the police investigation continues. I understand they're speaking with hundreds of people trying to uh, put together Becky's life uh, between 2002 when she was last seen at home and 2003 when they believe she was murdered. It is a difficult job. It's hard enough for police to investigate a murder that happened in the last couple of months, let alone one that happened nearly a decade ago.
Robert Murphy, thank you very much indeed.